Alrighty guys, what well, um good afternoon. So um we just watched the um Minecraft live to um twenty twenty four and I have to say all right off the bat I don't think it was that bad this time. This one wasn't I mean it was short, it was only about thirty minutes worth of Minecraft goodness. Um but I don't think that's a bad thing having shorter ones because it as far as I remember and I know, the plan to have these events like twice a week and twice a year, twice a week would be terrible. Um, twice a year, so I, I'm going to say it could be anywhere between, I say, 30 minutes to an, two hours top in total. So um, I like the quicker format where they just do a little bit of talking and they get to the point. I don't like the situation where people just dawdle on. I'm a person who likes getting to the point. That's why my videos are generally short. Because a lot of other content creators and all that dawdle and just talk on garbage. I don't do that. I like to get to the point. That's just my... um. It's just me. That's how I do things. Anyway, the first thing I want to talk about was, which oh, let me check my paper because I do actually have it written down. Was the one of the things I was a bit more interested in. Um, first one is bundles. So apparently they're putting bundles on the um bedrock edition since that's the one I play. I don't play my on um, Java because I just don't want to play Java. There's no real reason. I I prefer a bedrock edition um one because I can use the controller, an Xbox controller over a keyboard. Even though the keyboard and mouse do have a certain advantages, I prefer the um, controller. That's how it is, and that's why I'm a bedrock player. Now, I don't want to hear any nonsense about Java being better and all that shit. I don't care. I just don't. Um, but, yeah, one of the news is um, Hardcore and um, Bundles are both coming to, um, well, bedrock. Um, I believe they've already got bundles in the um, Java version, in experimental stuff, and they've already had Hardcore for some time. I'm um, pretty interested to see when the hardcore mode comes out for Bedrock. So I'll be keeping a good eye on it. A good eye on it. Um, sorry, I got my self distracted. Um, but yeah, bundles is the one I'm more interested in because I don't know how many of you have actually seen my streams. I've got to a point where I go to caves and I don't want to mine anything because every time I mine something, it feels like my inventory way too quickly and I have to leave. Um, I think bundles is a good way of medicating that because what that does is it, it's basically like a little wallet type of thing. Like you're carrying a little bag or something. Or I guess that's the best way of saying it. Like a little bag. So you can put things into to it and that takes one inventory and inside the um, bundle we can have multiple things. So I think that's a good way of medicating that issue. That means we can go caving without running home all the time. Um, that will be saving a lot of time. That means I can, I can mass um, coal and iron and Diamonds, if I find any gold, redstone, all that, it means my I'll become become much more efficient when it comes to mining. Because I'm more of a miner, guys. I like to work. I like to mine. I'm not a big house builder. I'm not the greatest at that kind of stuff, as you've probably seen by my videos. I can do decent ones. I can do functional ones, stuff like that. Um, I should improve it. I have been watching a lot of videos of being a bit more creative and great. not really in this creative mode though. I like doing it in survival, so. There's also another reason why it's probably not as good. Um, because creative mode, you got to find everything and all that shit. Um, but yeah, as I said, bundles I think will help out a lot because I can put things in there. I can I can mass produce food. I can have a lot of pickaxes in there and swords and weapons and armor and whatever the case may be. I can just be in case forever. I'm basically non-existent as long as I've got enough food. Um, we've got a decent amount of water and things like that. We will never have to leave the cave. I will never have to leave. I could be in case for episodes at a time now saying that obviously it's not ideal to do it like that i think you have to leave it at some point but you get the idea and it's also not just good for caves it's good for when you go to the mansion because i've been to a mansion a few times and i had to go home several times because i keep running out of um room to put things but i'll definitely streamline that and ancient city is another place i do have that problem and other places so it's going to make doing all that kind of stuff good but the one thing I do want to try, guys, is when I do when hard core mode is going to be um something I will be doing. So it'll be and probably it'll be another private realm. So it'll be for hard core mode, guys. I won't, don't think I don't think I'll put that for my public one because um everyone anyone who dies in it basically can't do it. Um, if it'll get to a point where it's no one there and it's hard, a bit more hard to manage. But in, in the future, guys, if anyone's interested in that, I could make it hard for mode, but I'll have to get someone to manage it. Um, other than that, what's next? So, they did talk about more about the um, Minecraft movie, which is shocking, I know. 
I had a look at some of the um, clips and put on there, and the people complaining about how the green screen looks really fake. I actually don't think it looks that bad in this one, because they show some um, clips, and it doesn't look like it's really bad. I'm wondering if the trailer was just a bit rushed together, and that's why it didn't look as good as it could be. Uh, but yeah, I, I think it's going to be a, de a decent movie, guys. I think everyone was jumping the gun saying it's really bad. I don't think it's going to be bad, personally. Even if it doesn't appeal to everyone, it's definitely going to appeal to the younger generation. So it's not going to be a... I don't think it will be really bad, that bad, but... I do like Minecraft, so I don't really care. And I had my theories that they're, they're more wide on making it look a little different than Minecraft itself. itself. And now they explained it a little bit more detail, especially with the block size, because, it, as you may know, the game blocks, when you knock down a tree, for example, or cobblestone, they're, they're decent size. In the movie, they were much smaller. And the reason they made it smaller, based on what they said, is because the, they want to make sure it's, it's small enough for the human hands. That is one of the reasons I want to make it smaller, which sounds more plausible. It made more sense. I mean, because you don't want something really ridiculously big um, and oversized. I think that's a, a relatively good reason. I mean, I actually like how the movie looks at the moment. It's a bit more, um, a bit more community, like a little bit of laughter in it. Um, so it also gave you some information about um, the Joe Black's character, Steve, um, and the other four characters, I forgot their names, forgive me, I'm terrible remembering everyone. Um, so for example, the one Jason plays, I forgot his last name, so forgive me. He plays an, oh, I think a, um, retro, kind of a retro gamer type of person, who's played Minecraft for like the first time, and he gets transported to this world. I think the other two are more, I think one of the others is like more of a, um, a modder, and the other one I think is just a, um, a greater person. So different types of people going in, I mean, I think that's fine, guys. I'm pretty happy with how it looks, guys. The movie looks like it's going to be do well. I don't, like I said, I don't think it's going to be bad. I look at the world differently than everyone else. Every time I go online, and this is, I'm having a dig at anyone who's like this online, everyone is like a doomsayer. All they think about is doom. Um, games look this bad. Movies look this shit. Um, you know, and then I went on today, I just saw a lot of people complaining about Ubisoft and, um, how people like to clickbait things. I hate clickbaiting, guys. I don't do it that much. So I try to keep my content as honest as possible. That's why I'll, this one's going to be probably just called something stupid. Um, I like to keep my my content, you know, more positive. So that's why I think the movie will do well. I don't know if it's going to be the best movie in the world, but I think it'll do okay. Um, I will see it because, you know, I do have a Minecraft channel after all. So if you're interested in that, it is um, Sharp256 Minecraft. Basically, one word, you'll be able to find it on YouTube and most of the other socials. Except for, except for Twitter and um, Reddit and all that, because I don't really upload that much on those type of things. But TikTok and the others, you'll probably be able to find it easily. Um, what's next on the other thing? So, apparently, they're developing something called a Minecraft experience. So, I believe they're doing a test, like a test thing in, I think it's Dallas in the US. Um, basically, how it works is basically it's a giant. I guess building room and you it's like a VR type experiment but it's not a VR I mean that would have been much better doing it like a VR because then you wouldn't have to build all these buildings but saying that there's probably going to be some social elements by why they're doing it like this um but basically you just go into a I think it's just like a um room by room and you go and do different things so basically experiencing the world is like a bit more detailed and you'll be playing on the PC or Xbox or PlayStation Oh yeah, I think that would be kind of cool. I really don't have much to say about it. I would love to see it. I live in Australia, guys, so if they ever put one out in like Sydney, Melbourne, or Brisbane, or you know, in those cities, yeah, I'm more likely to do a whole video on it. So I'll go to those three those cities. Even though I live in Melbourne, Melbourne's not really as far away as you think it is from those two cities. Sydney, it's about 800 k's away, which is about eight hours drive. Maybe six, maybe about close to six hours drive by I drive sometimes. Um. And Brisbane's probably about, I think, I'm trying to think how far Brisbane is. I think Brisbane's closer to, no, it's not 12 hours. It's like a day, maybe. It's not like super long, and I like driving when I had a car. So that doesn't really bother me. It was in Adelaide as well. Adelaide's about 800 k as well from where I live, so that's not too bad. Um, Just hopefully it's not in Perth, because Perth is basically on the, well, on the, I would say, we're on the very eastern. I'm in the southeastern. 
I'm pretty eastern, but not as eastern like Sydney or Brisbane. And I'm a little bit more south. But where Bris um, Perpies is basically on the very western side. Unfortunately, as you may or may not know, Australia's got a giant desert in the interior. Um, but once you get to Ivan, you will get out of Victoria, which is my state. You'll get to um, probably about just past Adelaide, and that's where you'll be driving nothing but deserts. There'll be nothing out there. So you'll have to be prepared for petrol, water, and all that kind of stuff, especially if it's the summer season. And then again, then again, this, this, this year we've been having weird spring, um, spring weather. For example, when spring first started, we had the temperatures not not Melbourne, but North Victoria and South Australia, and all that, over 40 degrees in the in, st in the winter time. So um, that is concerning as the world gets hotter. But that's not our problem at the moment. Um, but other than that, what else was there? Now, the big news is there was a whole village of news type thing, which ties into the next part I'm going to be talking about, the new biome. And that is going to be called, I think it's just called the um, pile biome. Um, pale bomb, sorry. So it's more of a palely common color, but this one is a bit different to so like the, I don't know, the oak and the birch and the dark oak and all the others, cherry blossoms and shit. But this one's got more of a really horror type of thing to it. Maybe not horror, horror, but a scary um, thing. Um, during the day, it's fine, apparently. This is what I'm kind of getting off the um, recording. But during the day, it's fine. It's a night time where things are getting a bit um, creepy. Of course, there is. No, there is a new enemy out called the uh, Croaking, I think it was. Or the Creeper. No, not Creeper. How be the Creeper? The creeper's already been used. But yeah, there is a new enemy type. I've forgotten his name. Something. But yeah. Um, basically, it's a very different mob to like a skeleton or or even a warden or and a dragon or with a skeleton or any of those mobs. Cause so you, with them, you can attack them directly and they die. This mob works differently. You attack him, it won't kill him. But if you do hit him, what will happen is some particles will come out of him and it will tell you where to go to actually to um and alive him. So you've got to go and destroy the um heart off the um croaking. So that's kind of new and the new material is actually not too bad. It's kind of a whitey pale type of thing, I guess making a name of the pale um biome. Um but yeah, it looks kind of interesting guys. I'm hoping to see that on my on the experimental stuff. Um, also, while we're going, before we finish up, I'm going to talk about this, guys. So, for most people who don't know, um, my Minecraft stuff is kind of dawdled at the moment because I've got my, let's, my edited videos and my streams are way desynced. So I won't be doing any, like, streams until at least the 12th, which is nearly about two weeks away. Unfortunately, I do apologize on that. Um, the way I do things now is a bit different, so it kind of caused a few issues. Um, but yeah, I'm planning to, like, um, reset that that world so we can start it properly i plan to do it like every second the third day second most of the time third day because there's a good reason for it, like maybe showcases or a birthday or christmas or something like those type of things but yeah that's what i want to do um when it comes to the um hardcore mode i will i do want to make a realm specifically for that um and also i'm going to keep my current realm for my expand my fun ones my you know one of the textures and shit the one i already do and the default one, of course. So there'll be like three private realms. I'm going to have my the experimental one stuff I want to start doing, which I'll probably do today. So if, you're on, if you are on Sharp 256 Minecraft, you'll probably see a video later today. So I'll be doing them twice a week, probably about an hour apart, give and take. Um, between 40 minutes or an hour, I think. Uh, depends what we're doing. If we're in a cave, we kind of take us a while to get out. So... Yeah, that's what I want to do, guys. I want to, that means I can put some shorts and hopefully I can keep some content coming out. It may not be as much as I usually do. Once the 12 kicks in and we'll start streaming again, there'll be a ton of content. I promise you that. And there won't be much changes when it comes to the structure and stuff. So I'll be able to start focusing on my Minecraft, guys. Um, for whatever reason, my Minecraft stuff does really well. So I'm hoping to get my less playing stuff a bit more of a kick as well. So I do them daily. On the another channel it's called two, um, Sharp Two Five Six Plays. Uh, at the moment, I'm playing what's it called, Vision of Mana, which I've almost finished. Unfortunately, I played my solo account on that, and I'm having a bit of trouble near the end. But it is what it is. So, yeah. So there you go. So when it comes to Minecraft, the only game that I'll constantly come back to. That's why I made the channel. So I thought the channel would make. A good um name for it so yeah that's why i got one 
Um, normally I wouldn't do it, I would just left it in the shelf to do five, six plays, but I thought it was a good idea to have its own little channel, and I'm happy I did it that way. So yeah, I'm pretty happy with this, guys. I mean, am I going to say it's perfect? No. It's probably, they could probably done a little bit better, but at saying that, it wasn't as bad as the last few, so I think the last few were pretty shit, especially the mob folk type of stuff. I'm glad they stopped doing that. Oh yeah, if I'm going to give this a number, I'll give this about... Give me a second. I don't know what number I'll give. I want to be. Oh, it's a fair. It was a good one, guys. You got the a few things. They did explain about the movie, so that's definitely a few points in that department. You got the new biome coming out. You got to be a commute. You got to be a fun with the villager news. Oh yeah, I'm gonna give it a seven. I think seven's a good number, guys. Um, we thought it was a little. I would have gave it eight if the, if some if some of the um experimentals or like day day one or you know let's say. After the video or something, that would have been like eight or nine. But yeah, I'm pretty lenient, guys. I'm not someone who just sees, oh, um, it's a terrible uh, podcast, blah, blah, blah. Yeah, who cares? I care about if it's interesting to me, it was interesting. So on that note, I'm going to finish it here because I'm just talking and I've already done this for 16 minutes. So as I said, I usually like getting to the point and I think I got, I ramble a little bit. So that's going to happen. Oh, well. But anyway, guys, I like this one. Um, like I said, today I will be starting to do a, round, a new um, experimental one. That means I'm going to be hopefully getting some good stuff in it before we get back to the streaming. Because like I said, I'll be doing it every second or third day for Minecraft, depending on the situation. When it comes to my Shop 256 plays, I'll be doing them mostly every day, mostly my night. But I'll be doing the Minecraft most mornings. Sometimes I'll do it at night and I'll just move the Let's Plays around a different time frame. But for the most part, it'll be in mornings. Sometimes nights just to get extra people who show up at night, you know, something to do. Um, but yeah, other than that, um, you know, this channel, is, I do podcasts, but it's a bit spotty at the moment. I'm still trying to work out exactly when I want to do them. But yeah, on that note, I'm going to finish here, guys. I hope you guys enjoyed. Hit the like, hit the subscribe. Um, let me know what we could do in the future to improve our little videos. And yeah, cheers.